I'm back with Shots and Shield, and today's video, we're going to be going over the Taekwondo sidekick, so stay tuned. Welcome back, here I'm back with Shots and Shield, and Taekwondo. Today's video, we're going to go over how to do the Taekwondo sidekick. Now, if you haven't gone back and watched the spinning hook kick, the spinning back kick, and the roundhouse tutorial, definitely do that in the links below or somewhere floating around. But in the meantime, one of the key points that we've been discussing so far in our tutorial is almost all of our Taekwondo kicks have the same chamber. The reason why we have the same chamber for almost all Taekwondo kicks is for simplicity. You don't have to remember this chamber for this kick, this chamber for that kick. Also, when you have different chambers and different kicks, any style of martial art, and other people can figure out what you're doing, and they can start predicting what's happening, and reacting to it, or responding to it, instead of reacting. However, when you only have one or two chambers, it makes it really hard for people to figure out what's going on. So now, with the side kick, we hit with the ball of the foot, we're hitting with the heel, but we also hit with what we call a blade and heel. So we're hitting with the heel, but also with the blade of the foot. So, what I mean by that is we're chamber. Instead of just sitting kind of flat with our heel, which the heel is extremely powerful, if we want to deliver more CSI or power for swearing, or basically uh, deliver more power behind your kick, is to create a smaller surface area. So, chambering up or my foot is going to be bladed. So this will be flat versus bladed. So, you really want to have a bladed foot. It's like the difference between doing a palm strike versus doing a knife hand. That knife hand is a lot sharper, it's going to generate more power. So it's a side thing, you can do a lead leg and rear leg, we're actually going to show you both in this tutorial. So traditionally a rear leg, which is not as powerful, but it does have beauty. Like a round hill, or an ass kick, or a front kick, we're going to be in this position. We're going to bring our knee straight up. Now, same with the round hill, our bottom foot, the more that it turns towards the rear, so our heels face the target is better. So ideally, we want our foot to turn 180 degrees, so our heel is aiming at our target, so that our hips are in better alignment to deliver more power. So off the rear leg and drop. This leg's going to do a 180. My knee's going to come up. I'm going to turn it over, deliver a side kick. Now. Sometimes people, when they throw a side kick, they'll kind of make it more like a round hill. It kind of comes around where they extend their foot like this, when really the kick should come out like a palm strike or a punch. So again, off the rear leg, or rear leg side kick. Somehow that kick comes up and comes straight in. Like I said, previously some people will throw a See how that was more of a round hill? We want to make sure again, it comes up and straight in. That more traditional rear line side kick. Now, the more powerful side kick is the lead line because you're already in this position. You don't have to do, you don't really have to twist as much. And this is better for uh, foreign speed for uh, defensive for the legs to come up. Definitely generate a little more power. So a lot of times, what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift the knee up and kick. And now here's a little trick. When you're just learning the side kick, you're having a problem with the blade and heel. What, what I'll do is I'll actually turn my foot over onto the side before I kick. And then lift up and I kick out, I'm already bladed. And then eventually, you can just kind of stand here, pop, throw that side kick and it becomes a way because you've done it so much. And then there's a little hint, you know, I'll have my students and uh, walk around the class, they'll walk on the blade of their feet. It helps also strengthen the ankle, and it, you know, it creates a muscle memory to help you blade your foot. Yeah, so off the lead line, you can do like a step up, lift, and kick, or in time you're going to go to Shuffle step, even step behind, and do a side kick. 
Let me demonstrate all the different variations of the fact. Let's start with our rear leg side seat. That's the also rear leg. If we were practicing the lead leg, where we're a little closer, we can just chamber up and side kick. Make sure I'm doing like a step up, side kick. Or if that wild I do, my favorite one is step up behind, so our hips is wide, side kick, which is very similar to the position of the back kick. This is a little bit more of a side kick position. Actually, that's the kick, the side kick I practice the most. And for me, it's the most powerful kick that I have besides the back kick. Is that stepping side kick for you? Here, my heel, aim, or my kick, I'm going to extend both my feet. If you watch the video on the fast kick, I mentioned how you actually kick with both legs. Both feet are both legs are going to push away from each other. That's how you do a really good fast kick and a really good side kick. You want to kick what I call with two legs. A lot of people will just kick with one leg. You want to utilize both legs. When you're taking so let me show you that one more time. I've won a uh, few more championship with this particular kick. So, stepping, shift along. When I kick, I'm going to literally extend both legs. That's our quick little tutorial on how to do Taekwondo side kick. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our future kicking and self-defense video, check out the video to your right here. Leave a comment below, let us know what you're thinking. Let us know what you like and dislike. Let's have a discussion about any type of one of kicks that you want. And also hit that uh, like button. You know, just give us a little bit of love. But uh, yeah, it's nice to get our traditional sidekick and new like sidekick. Just really make sure that you focus on that same chamber of all the type of one kicks that we have. And I'll see you in the next video.